Hi everyone and welcome to Korea. You will be shopping, touring and eating a variety of food while you stay in Seoul. Are you excited? <laughs> Before you start, you have to unpack your belongings at your accommodation. All right, I will show you how to get to where you will be staying. Obviously, the easiest and most comfortable way to travel is taking a taxi, right? Of course, it will be a little more expensive than taking a bus or the subway, especially because Incheon International Airport is located all the way west, about 61 kilometers from central Seoul on a small island called Yongjeongdo. If you want to take a taxi, there's a taxi station right outside the terminal. The Terminal 1 has 14 gates and the taxi station is located across from gate 4 between sections 4C and 8C. There are many types of taxis you can take depending on the service required, price and the size of taxi you prefer. The black taxis with a gold stripe are deluxe taxis, also known as Mobum taxis. They are the most comfortable taxis of all, but they're in a higher price range. Now, the van type of taxi you see over there is a jumbo taxi. It's in the same price range as a deluxe taxi, however, it's suitable for small groups. Here, you can take a standard taxi. Now, look out for the sign that says Seoul Taxi before getting in line, since taxis only travel to specific areas. Standard taxis are the lowest taxi fares and are usually orange, white, or gray sedans. The taxi fare is usually shown on the meter machine. However, on the way to Seoul from Incheon Airport, there is an additional toll gate fee of 6,600 won, which will be added to the total fare. So, please, don't wonder, why am I being charged more than what the meter machine reads? Or, wow, this car is nice and everything, but why is the fare so high? <laughs> It's a good idea to prepare a Korean address to give to your taxi driver when he asks for your destination, since taxi drivers may have difficulty understanding foreign languages. A word of caution. There may be rare occasions in which taxi drivers try to rip off foreign travelers. If you feel that's the case, dial 120 to report the driver and receive reward money. However, you must hold on to the receipt and remember the car plate number. There are also international taxis in which foreign language service is available. However, they are only available at the airport service desk or by reservation. International taxi fare is not measured by the meter machine, but by a flat fare depending on the destination. The price of an international standard taxi is about 20% more than a regular standard taxi, and the van-sized international taxi is just a little bit more expensive than the jumbo taxi. They also provide an hourly charter service for your comfort and convenience. In conclusion, if you want to take a taxi from the airport to City Hall, a normal standard taxi will cost 55,000 won, and a deluxe taxi or jumbo taxi will cost 85,000 won in total. Of course, the cost may vary depending on the traffic. If you choose to take an international taxi, it will cost a flat rate of 65,000 won for standard and 95,000 won for a van. Once you start traveling in Seoul, you will quickly realize that the public transportation cost is relatively cheaper than other countries. All right, have a wonderful trip.